Hello there, my name is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC. I'm going to show you how to use Windows Disk Cleanup with Windows 10, and I'm going to focus on the latest version of Windows 10, version 2004. So when you type Disk Cleanup, you're going to get a program that comes up that looks like this, and it's going to go automatically to your C drive. And usually that's where you want to leave it. And the reason you care about this program is that you want to go in and clean up a lot of unused things to free up disk space on your C drive. And this is really important both for mechanical hard drives and for NAND-based SSDs. And in my case, I have an Intel Optane drive here. And it's not quite as important for that sort of drive, but still I want to clean up all the stuff that I can. So when you click OK, it's going to scan and look at your drive and tell you how much space you might free up. And what you might notice here if you've used older versions of this is that it only checks the first two checkboxes here. And what you really want to do when you run this is click on the cleanup system files button. And when it, you do that, it'll offer what drive you want to do. And then when you do that, it's going to go in and scan that drive. And depending on what kind of a drive it is, it may take a little bit of time. With an Intel Optane drive, it's going to be really fast. And it's going to come up and give you a list of what Windows thinks it can clean up based on what's on your drive. And you're going to have to go in and check some of these check boxes to free up as much disk space as possible. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on all these other ones that aren't already checked. And this is going to vary based on your machine. You're going to see different amounts of space than I have here in most cases. And the key one here is previous Windows installations. And if you just upgraded from version 1909, for example, to version 2004, like I did, you're going to see a large amount of space, maybe larger than 19 gigabytes. And if you want to get rid of that, you can go ahead and check this, but make sure you understand that when you do that, you won't be able to roll back to that older version of Windows 10. So make sure that's what you want to do. And the program will actually prompt you to make sure you want to do that if you check this checkbox. So be aware of that. And then we'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and make sure there's nothing else we need to check here. So when you're happy with what you've chosen, go ahead and click OK. And then this might take anywhere from a few minutes to a little bit longer, depending on what kind of drive you're dealing with here. But doing this on a regular basis, not only when you upgrade to a newer versions of Windows 10, but also when you apply monthly updates from Microsoft is a good idea because you can free up many gigabytes of disk space and that's important for performance. Plus you just don't want to be running low on disk space if you have a smaller SSD as a boot device. So thanks for listening. I'm Glenn Berry from Dr. DMV LLC.